Hi everyone. Now we will talk about blade template in Laravel. First we'll discuss what is blade template, why we need it. We'll talk about its expression and syntax. Then we'll see how we can display variables with blade template, how to execute functions, how we can use if else condition, how we can make loops like for loop for each loop. And at last we'll discuss some interview questions related to blade template. All right. So let's move on first question. What is blade template? See, Blade template is a templating engine in Laravel for executing the PHP code. And see, keep in mind, you don't need to install it externally or you don't need to add it external. externally. It will by default include it in the Laravel framework whenever you are installing your project. All right. But I'm very sure maybe you have some question there like uh, what is template engine and why we need a template engine to execute PHP code? Why we can't execute PHP code directly? See. Template engine is a module or tool for executing the code. In almost every programming language, there are some template engines. For example, uh, for JavaScript, there is a EGS template engine, right? That will execute the uh, JavaScript code. But the thing is why we need uh, these uh, external templating engine to execute the code. There are two things. First one, they are little bit faster than the normal execution. Second thing, the syntax to uh, write the code inside the template engine it a uh, little bit easier and this is so quick like we can save lots of time if we have to make large projects all right so again you can have a one question there like how these template engines are faster than the uh, normal execution see blade template engine if i'm talking about the blade template in laravel right see this will actually cache the code Whenever we are executing one code, it will just uh, keep in the cache and in the next time whenever we are executing it, that uh, due to that cache, it will uh, make it a little bit faster. Right. And I'll show you while we are just write the code in uh, some moment, uh, the syntax of blade template is far easier than the PHP uh, 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 syntax. Right. So now let's see how we can use blade template and do uh, lots of work with it and how we can save time, right? So what I'm going to do, you can see that uh, in last part, we made a route for home page, right? Which is, you can say that uh, blade home.blade.php and this is uh, getting called from the uh, user control from there. Right. So now we will use this home.blade.php for our examples and other things. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm passing some data from user control to the uh, our home.blade.php so that we can play with data, that, that data. So first I'm putting their dollar name and let's say name is Anil for, for a moment. And I am creating a array there and inside this I'm putting name dollar name right so this key if you are just making it abc or whatever you are writing there this key you can use as a variable inside your blade file so let me show you if i'm just putting there h1 tag and i'm putting there double curly braces and then dollar and that key name so this double curly braces is actually a expression of the you can say that blade template right so now you will find we can just print our name but just this simple code so if you are just want to use their php tag tag yes in the blade dot a php file you can also write the php code then the syntax will be little bit complex so now you have to use dollar name like this so see the syntax different there we just need to put the double curly braces but here we have to complete the php tag then we have to echo and all and then the output will be the same but even you can say that the output is little bit faster than the our first one uh, express uh, expression of the blade uh, template engine right this is the faster as compared to the second one okay so this is the one thing so how we can execute the functions so if i'm just removing this because we don't need it right so let's say you want to execute any function then how you can do that this is also very simple so there is a, some predefined function in uh, uh, Lara in PHP, which is let's say ran this provide the random value, right? So if I'm just printing there, you can see that this is just displaying some random value and that's why uh, Like this is the way that how we can use the functions with the help of blade template. All right So now let's play with some array role 
so i'm just creating a array with the name of users and it has some username let's say anil then sam then peter or something like this cool so after that what we can do uh if you just want to use this users you have to pass it in the array so you can just create another key for example users and then you can pass this dollar users to that one right so if you just try to print the complete array there like dollar users it will throw a error reason being because we cannot print uh, the array directly we have to just uh, we have to print the string type first right so what we can do there otherwise if you just want to see the complete array you can simply use print r print underscore r and then you can say that dollar uh, users and now you can see that there is got the array right but if you want to print one value from the array then this is really simple you don't need this you can just simply put there zeroth element and there we go an L, right so now the thing is if i'm just commenting all of these things how we can use if else condition in the blade template okay see for that you just need to okay let's let me take a div there first and inside this let's start with the at the rate and then if we just put there if and we can just write our any condition there for example name right we have the name there anil right so if i'm just checking there if name is anil then there it's it will be the block which will be executed with the h1 uh, with the uh, you can say that if condition so i'm putting there this is anil right and again if you just want to put there uh, uh, else if you can see that else if and there you can match some other things let's say dollar name equal equal to sam and again you can just see there some put some block for uh, else if let's say this is sam and the last one you can say that else and inside this else you can say that other user or something and at last you just need to put there and else like this all right uh sorry and if actually and if yeah now let's see you can see that this is anil we are executing and let's say if there is a sam then you will find this is sam and last one if there is a peter then this condition will not go now match and it will be show other user all right so let me just again come back with the anil perfectly working fine okay so the next thing that we need to check uh, let's get back there how we can use for loop all right so come back there and let's create a div and inside this div simply use at the rate for and then you can see that this is pretty similar whatever we are doing in the uh, php right dollar i equal to 0 dollar i less than equal to 10 dollar i plus plus right and there we can say that we can put any uh, h4 h5 h3 tag so let me put there h4 let's close that for and we can simply print there dollar i and at last you can say that and four and now let's try to execute it okay so actually we have to use their double curly braces i just forgot that and now you can see that we have the counting there all right so how we can use for each loop okay, again we can take a div for this and we'll use this for loop for each loop with the users array right so what we can do there just simply put there at the rate for each inside this let's put their dollar uh, users as dollar user right and inside this let's take uh, h3 tag or any tag and simply put dollar the double curly braces put their dollar user and at last just simply put their and for each and now you will see we got the all of these three users name right okay so that's all for this part we just get to know how we can use for each loops and all okay for interview questions they can ask 
uh, why we use blade template and there is a one more thing so they can ask like if we are not putting their dot blade dot php extension if we directly use the dot php extension will blade template call execute the answer is no it will not execute so let me show you if i'm just removing the blade template blade from there this page will work right but code will not execute see the code is exactly same whatever we are typing there so if you want to execute the blade template code you have to put there dot blade dot php extension all right and now you will see this is working fine okay and they can ask like how we can use for each or for loop in the blade template thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any query question you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much and this is my paytm number for dimension thanks guys